Fury in the backhand in front, and Ratcliffe right at the horn. Makes a big save. Wow, that was big. So what was your hockey career like before coming to RIT? Before I came to RIT, uh, I played a lot of inline hockey. Uh, I've played ice hockey my whole life, but uh, a lot of times during the winter, I mostly played with boys, which I always found was fun. I mean, there was nothing else in my town. Um, there was no girls hockey. It was you either play goalie and you're a girl or you don't, you don't play hockey at all. So they always said that if you want to be treated like one of the boys and be treated as equal, you gotta you gotta carry your bag, you gotta tie your own skates, you gotta be, you know, part of the team. So even if I look silly doing it, I try to just do whatever it takes. Shot, so the extra effort they're paying off for the Tigers. So what initially got Jetta on your radar for the recruitment for this team? We were talking to a goalie, another goalie at the time, and that things didn't work out. And she's actually the one that recommended Jetta that she. Um, we are looking for a third goalie, someone just to practice with, and she recommended that she had a buddy. One thing led to another, and uh, she was more of an inline hockey player. And uh, at the time, we had Ariane Yokoyama and Courtney Kunichika on the time that were very big into uh, roller hockey. And uh, talked to them right away. They knew exactly who Jetta was, and she was on the national team with them for uh, the U.S. national team for roller hockey, and called her up. and. That's how it, that's how it kind of started. Even though I was talking to a lot of other schools, I started looking at RIT and I saw that they had a co-op program. I was really interested in that. I was very interested in their engineering, that they were a high-ranked engineering program. And I wanted to be able to do both and have like a good mix of hockey and engineering and make sure I was like looking towards the future and that kind of stuff. So from the things I did see, it kind of made me switch my path really quickly. And I remember I picked it within like a week or two. It's kind of a strange route here, but it's, it's been fun and they've been really good to us. So, Is it hard for you to balance your engineering homework with hockey practice? How do you balance the two? It takes a lot, a lot of help from the teachers. They've been extremely supportive. Um, they definitely expect that you do all the work and you, you know, you're right there with everyone else. They hold you to the same standard, but a lot of times when we're gone for trips, you know, they'll adjust that, like, I can take a test beforehand before I go. They can be long days, that's for sure. <laughs> As a starting goalie, you carry a lot of responsibility. How has that sort of impacted you? I, I, was, I talk to my grandma a lot, and she always says, like, you know, if you, have to, if you have to make 50 saves, then you have to make 50. And if you only have to make 10, then you have to make 10. Like, it's whatever it takes to win, and you just have to fill whatever role you've been given. And if that's what it takes, then if you can look to your teammate and be like, wow, I gave you everything of me today then, you know, you did your job correctly. She has a competitive drive that's not really matched by many. And uh, once given the opportunity, she's been um, just a very humble, humble player and very grateful for any opportunity. And uh, that's what you want, where you have a, a calming presence in the back, uh, the back end of your team. And someone that'll compete, someone that, you know what, she'll, she'll cover up the mistakes for the team. That's, that's, the, that's what you, you're looking for. So what are your future plans for after you graduate from RIT? I really believe that like, RIT's like, best days for the season can really be ahead of us. Like, we've been working really hard in practice and stuff, and I think that if we keep moving forward that some of the better days can be ahead. So I may want to stay on the East Coast just because now there's an NWHL. Um, without looking too far ahead, I would love to try for that one day. I think it's, I think it's amazing that girls can can play hockey on one of the highest levels now.